Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn some great vocabulary, so let's get started. Today we're learning this word, nonchalant. First, let's look at the pronunciation. The first syllable is non. Use the short ah sound like hot and stop, non. Nonchalant. The ch is pronounced with the soft sh sound like shoe and show. This word comes from French. That's why we pronounce the ch with the sh sound. Again, nonchalant. The second syllable is the sound uh, uh. It's not stressed. You can call it a schwa, but it's the same sound as uh in cup and up. Uh, uh. It's a relaxed sound. Closed. Uh, uh, uh. Nonsha, nonsha, nonchalant. The last syllable is the open ah sound, like in hot and stop. Together, nonchalant. Stress the first and third syllable. That's the first and the last syllable. Nonchalant. Nonchalant is an adjective. It means to act calm and cool and casual in a situation where normally you wouldn't. To act like it's no big deal, when in reality, it kind of is a big deal. And we have two forms. We have the adjective nonchalant, and we have the adverb nonchalantly. Nonchalantly is a real word. It's used in writing, but not so much in conversational English. In conversational English, we use nonchalant. And we use it with verbs like to be or to act, to act nonchalant, to be nonchalant. And a lot of times people will say, be nonchalant about it or act nonchalant about it. In this case, the NT at the end of the word is between vowels when you link the words. So you don't really hear the T. Try to be nonchalant about it or act nonchalant about it. The tongue goes up to make the T position, but you don't really hear it. Example. We were out, and my wife needed to use the restroom, but there were no public restrooms. But there was a hotel, so I said, let's go to the hotel and use their restroom, but we weren't staying there. I said, try to be nonchalant about it. Just act like it's no big deal. Just walk in like you're staying there, and we'll use the restroom. It'll be fine. Just act nonchalant about it. Let's hear some examples. If Oswald was the assassin, he was certainly pretty nonchalant about moving himself into position. How can you be so nonchalant about this? Oh, it's just a gathering of chefs from around the country all trying to outdo one another while acting very nonchalant about the whole thing. You can act all nonchalant, but I know you are starting to root for him. Why are you talking so casually, so nonchalant? You and why act nonchalant? Why not act nonchalantly? Because act is a verb. In this case, it works as a linking verb, like to be. Because act is like appear. It's how you behave. No nonchalantly use nonchalant. Act nonchalant about it. Example, I saw this lady at the grocery store and she dropped something on the floor and made a big mess. And she just walked off. I was surprised by how nonchalant she was about it. She acted like it was no big deal. She didn't tell anybody. She just walked off. She was nonchalant about it. And I was surprised how nonchalant she was about it. Let's practice. This lady made a big mess in a grocery store. And she just walked off like it was nothing. Was she nonchalant about it? That's right. She was nonchalant about it. Are you surprised how nonchalant she was about it? Me too. I'm surprised how nonchalant she was about it. So remember, we have two forms, nonchalant and nonchalantly. Use nonchalant. It's conversational and it's very common. Nonchalantly, you'll read it in books, but people don't say it in conversational English. And remember the pronunciation. The CH makes a soft sh, sh sound. It comes from French. Nonchalant. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time. Today we're looking at English words from French. They come from French, so they have a different pronunciation. These words are spelled CH, but we don't pronounce them CH. They are pronounced SH. Let's see some examples. We see with the word Chevrolet, we have the CH pronounced SH. Chevrolet. And we have the ET pronounced A. Chevrolet. Or you can say Chevy. Let's practice. Do you want to buy a big Chevrolet truck? 
No, I don't want to buy a big Chevrolet truck. Do you want to buy a big Chevrolet truck? Very good. Example, chef. So we have the CH, but we pronounce it soft. Sh chef. Don't say chef. Say chef. He's a chef, and he's preparing a gourmet meal. Is the chef preparing a gourmet meal? Yes, the chef is preparing a gourmet meal. Is the chef preparing a gourmet meal? Very good. Example, machine. CH is soft because it comes from French. Machine. This is my washing machine. I put the clothes in the washing machine. Did you put the clothes in the washing machine? Yes, I put the clothes in the washing machine. Did you put the clothes in the washing machine? Very good. Pronunciation. Mustache. Mustache. Put the accent on the first syllable. Mustache. Soft sound. Shh. Mustache. He has a nice mustache. Do you like his mustache? No, I don't like his mustache. Should I grow a mustache? No, he shouldn't grow a mustache. Do you like his mustache? Should I grow a mustache? Very good. Example, champagne. Soft sound, shh. We use the a, ah, the short a ah sound. Sha, champagne. So we see the G is silent. Pain. Together, champagne. Accent goes up at the end. Champagne. Do you drink champagne on New Year's Eve? Yes, I drink champagne on New Year's Eve. Do you drink champagne on New Year's Eve? Very good. Example. He is a chauffeur. Soft sound. Shh. O. Make a long O. Show. Fur. Fur. The accent is on the second syllable. Chauffeur. He is a chauffeur. Is that your chauffeur? Yes, that's my chauffeur. Is that your chauffeur? Pronunciation. Parachute. Pronounce this with the air. Pair. A. Uh, para. Soft sound. Shh. Ooh. Shoot. Shoot. Parachute. You need a parachute to go skydiving. Do you need a parachute to go skydiving? Yes, I need a parachute to go skydiving. Do you need a parachute to go skydiving? Very good. Pronunciation? Chandelier. Chandelier. Accent on the first syllable. Soft sound. Shh. Chandelier. This is a gold chandelier. Do you have a chandelier in your dining room? Yes, I have a chandelier in my dining room. Do you have a chandelier in your dining room? Pronunciation. Brochure. Bro. Sure. Soft sound. Sure. Accent on the second syllable. Brochure. I haven't read the brochure yet. Have you read the brochure? Did you read the sales brochure? Yes, I read the sales brochure. Did you read the sales brochure? Very good. Chic. It's an adjective. Fashionable or stylish. Pronunciation. Chic. Use the soft sound. Sh. Use the long E sound. She. K. Chic. They're going to a party tonight. They look very chic. Where are they going? They're going to a party. Do you think they look very chic? Yes. They look very chic. Where are they going? Do you think they look very chic? Very good. Cliché. A cliché is a situation that you've seen a million times. The girl gets the prince at the end of the movie. That's a cliché. You can also say, that's so cliché, with no a. Uh. We use it both ways. That's so cliché, or that's such a cliché. Pronunciation. Cliché. Cli, with a long e sound. Cli, soft sh. Cliché. Pronounce this with a. Cliché. The accent is on this syllable. Cliché. That's a cliché. The girl always gets the prince at the end. Do you think that's a cliché? Yeah, that's so cliché. Do you think it's a cliché? Pronunciation. Pistachio. 
P, short A sound, pista, short A, pista, soft sh, pistachio, shio, pistachio nuts. Pistachio nuts are very healthy. Do you like pistachio nuts? Do you like pistachio ice cream? Yes, I love pistachio ice cream. Do you like pistachio ice cream? Very good. The name Michelle comes from French, so we pronounce it sh. Michelle. Accent on the second syllable. Michelle. Michelle Obama was the first lady of the United States. Do you know who that is? Yeah, that's Michelle Obama. She was the first lady. Do you know who that is? Who was she? The girl's name, Charlotte. Pronounce sh. Soft. Char. Let. Let. Charlotte. Charlotte is a girl's name, and Charlotte is a city in North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Have you ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina? Yes, I've been to Charlotte, North Carolina before. Have you ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina? Very good. The state, Michigan. It's a French word, shh, soft sound. Mich, Michigan. Gen. Michigan. Stress on the first syllable. Michigan. Michigan is a big state in the north. Michigan University. Where is Detroit? Detroit is in Michigan. Where is Detroit? Very good. Example, Chicago. Chicago comes from French, so we pronounce it soft. Sh. Sh. Chicago. Ka is the accent. Cago. Chicago. Chicago is a city in Illinois. Illinois comes from French too, so we have a silent S. In French words, they have an S at the end. It's silent. So, Chicago, Illinois. Not Illinois. No S. Chicago, Illinois. Do you want to go to Chicago, Illinois? Yeah, I'd love to go to Chicago, Illinois. Do you want to go to Chicago, Illinois? Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you want to learn American pronunciation and avoid common mistakes, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.